Shine Sprite, zo komen wij op de nieuwe aflevering van Layton's Mystery Journey. En we gaan beginnen aan case nummer 6. Case nummer 6 is van deze dude, die hebben we volgens mij nog helemaal niet gesproken. Tenminste, ik herken hem niet. Misschien is, dat hij, misschien is hij weer een van de Seven Dragons. Something's been stolen from the brand new vault at the Layman's Reserve Bank. Can get, get it back? We gaan het proberen. Yes. Old school late in liedje. Is this definitely the place Inspector Hastings asked us to meet him, Ernest? Yes, miss, in the front of Layman's Reserve Bank, he said. Well, it doesn't appear to be open yet. I wonder what the inspector wants. Maybe it's some problem at the bank. I don't trust banks, apart from Barclays. <laughs> Barclays. <laughs> it's all in the name. Well, he didn't mention anything like that. He just telephoned the agency and asked us to meet him here. That's all. He's always doing this, that man never gets to the point. Well, anyway, it's a pretty impressive building, isn't it? Yes, it's amazing to think that just 10 years ago, no one had even heard of Lehman's Reserve Bank. Well, this building doesn't look new. I expect the bank bought it from somebody else, that's why. It's very important to, uh, for a bank to portray the right image, you see, Cheryl. It's in the name, it's in the logo, it's in the office buildings. Barley just has a kennel as its logo. Like it. I like it. Nice. Okay. Ah, oh, there you are, cat. Thanks for coming. Good morning, Inspector. You have a new case for me, I, I take it. Spot on. In fact, you are asked for personally. Nice. You mean somebody else asked for me to investigate? Not you? Spot on again, your little agency is getting quite a name for itself now. I said I'd get in touch with uh, you on the gentleman's behalf. I felt quite pleased with myself, as it happens. Well, I'm glad the agency is becoming more widely known, but I'm not sure what it has to do with you, Inspector. Well, I'm the one who cottoned on your great puzzling solving abilities, aren't I? Takes a keen eye to spot a good investigator. He knows how to blow his own trumpet. <laughs> well, it's jolly good news that the NG is getting recognition it deserves, don't you think? It's a tribute to your wonderful detective skills, Miss Layton. Blimey, listen to me guessing. Come on, we better go in. The gentleman in question uh, specifically requested um, we keep this investigation ash ash. Okay. Yes, mom. Mom. Well, uh, let's go uh, in. So, let's go in so we can find out what it's all about then. Kijk, Moni. Nog een Moni. Een dude. Shady. <laughs> it's a private joke, or is it something you can share? Ah, you've scared me. Anyway, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. Hey, there's Pierre Paddestoelen Hoofdman weer. It's a sign on the door uh, says it's closed, but I saw a woman inside before. Mm, in other words, it's closed. Open bracket, unless we like you and want you to let you in. Close bracket. <laughs> Wat is eigenlijk het? Maar waarschijnlijk wel waar. Hé, hey, een geheime puzzel. Ah, Mr. Thor. I didn't know you banked here. Oh, hello, Miss Dayton. I don't know where I'm at, to be honest. Mav sent me this puzzle and I just can't solve it. Really? Mr. Rector sets puzzles? Sometimes, yes. Uh, you couldn't help me solve it, could you? Here, let me show it to you. Oeh, spannend. The money of color. Okay. 
there's a wall with 12 sections that need to be painted red, blue and purple. Just like the one in the picture. Okay. A pot of paint for uh, one section costs 10 for red, 10 for blue and 30 for purple. How much is the paint going to cost? Try to figure out the minimal possible price. Nou, dat is op zich niet heel erg moeilijk. Uh, staat erbij hoeveel een uh, euro... Even kijken. Ik weet niet, uh, staat erbij of ik, uh, hoeveel vakjes je kan maken met één, één, één ding? Uh, 12 sections, just like the one in the picture. A pot of paint for one section cost 10. Oké, okay, oké. Okay. Dus we hebben gewoon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rode, 5 blauwe, dat is uh, 10, plus, of, uh, 50 plus 50 is 100. Voor deze pak je gewoon een rode en een blauwe en dan kan je ook die mee maken, want, het is gewoon, uh, want je pakt van allebei de helft. Dus het is 100 en, voor 120 kan jij en ze uh, dit allemaal fixen. There, that's how it's done. It's a help, Mr. Thor. Brilliant, you made that look so easy. I suppose uh, you detectives are primed for a puzzle solving. Ja, we zijn dan too slim, zijn we. Dat hadden we alles geëstablished een paar afleveringen geleden. Gosh, it feels deserted in here without any customers, doesn't it? Oh, there's a woman over there, though. Look! Yeah, she's not a customer. That's general manager of the bank. The general manager? She's very important then. You said it, sunshine. The layman's reserve bank uh, has branches all over the world. Okay. Uh, each one has a branch manager, and that lady there is the manager of all those managers. The gentleman who asked for this investigation said um, she would fill us in on all the details. Alright then, let's get filled in. Oh, she's there ook eng uit. Hello, I understand that you're the general manager of the bank. That's right, love. Um, and who are uh, are you coming in here with your dirty dog? We're not open to the public yet. I am sorry. Gosh, have we done something to offend? No, sorry, madam. She is not a member of the public. Uh, this is the detective who will be investigating the case for you. Detective? This little girl, are you sure she's up to the task? And this is a very complicated case, you know? I do understand, madam, but I assure you, Miss Layton here is the highly accomplished in her field. Well, let's hope so, because I demand perfection. Any slip-ups and I have to ask you to drop it. Please, rest assured. I'll solve the case for you perfectly. Of course, I'll need to give you as many details as you can. Um, would you be alright? Would that be alright? Hmm, yes, I suppose so. Miss Layden, wasn't it? Yes, Catriel Layden of the Layden Detective Agency and my assistant here, Ernest Greaves. Hello, I'm Bianca Teller. Um, as you already know, Miss Layden, I'm the general manager of the Layman's Reserve Bank. Oh, please, call me Catriel. Oh, uh, no, I'd rather not. First names can be a source of confusion. Using people's full names is the perfect solution. Uh. And well then, perhaps you can explain exactly what the problem is. It's a sensitive matter to be treated with complete discretion. Do you understand? Your secrets will be safe with me, as safe as this bank's fault. Are you being sarcastic? No, I meant to. I wasn't meaning to be. Is there some? Uh, is there some problem with the bank's fault then? Yes, I pride myself on a perfect security measures here, but uh, we've been the victims of grand larceny. I say someone robbed the bank? How much was taken? 100 million sterling in notes. 
Hmm, I see. 100 million. Wait, 100 million? Task says an unexpected windfall. Did she just say 100 million, Cheryl? I don't think uh, I can have uh, heard that her correctly. Okay. That would buy all the dog biscuit manufacturers in the world, Cheryl. Lol. You realize the gravity of this case, don't you? do realize the gravity of this case, don't you? It could undermine the whole bank. Trust me to get lumbered with a detective who talks to her dog. Hey, Mr. Sloans. I asked for her especially, Bianca. Oh, Mr. Sloans, I was not expect you, sir. Weren't you? It's my bank that's been robbed, in it. <laughs> Don't uh, want the boss breathing down your neck, is that it? No, no, of course not, sir. Hmm, well, you clearly aren't taking my choice of detective. Uh, that's for sure and certain. Oh no, sir, I'm sure you've chosen perfectly. I'll co cooperate with Miss Layden in any way I can. I'm glad to hear it, lass, because she'll be handling this investigation alongside the good gentleman from Scotland Yard. Oh yes, of course, sir. I'm sure they'll uh, get to the bottom of it. Well, at least that means uh, she'll stop treating Miss Layton like a schoolgirl. If you'll excuse me then, Miss Layton, and now that Mr. Sloan's is here, I must be getting on. Oh, sorry, I hope uh, we haven't kept you. It's just that the branch manager uh, had to be taken to into hospital, you see. Gosh, people uh, sustained injuries uh, at the incident? Oh, the do doctor say it's not too serious, but he hasn't regained consciousness yet. Uh, so I'm having to fill in for him at the moment. I see. Well, you're obviously very busy. Excuse me then, sir. I'll get on. So we haven't properly been introduced yet, have we? I'm Grant Sloans, owner of this bank. And I've uh, a few businesses, actually. This is just one of them. Uh, it were Madame Dublé uh, who told me about you. So when I spoke to Inspector Hastings, I made sure he understood I wanted you on the case. Well, that's very kind of you, uh, Mr. Sloans. I'll do my best to live up to your expectations. Um, he certainly looks the part, doesn't he? He's a giant. He really packs the punch. He'll punch you if he hears you, pinstripes. Uh, what was that, lad? Um, no, I mean nothing. <laughs> I believe I've seen you before, Mr. Sloans, at the premiere of No Sub for Love, wasn't it? At the Savloy. Oh yes, that's right. You solved that one as well, I'm, if I'm not mistaken. And does that mean you're one of the so-called Savage Dragons? <laughs> well, it's not a title I've chosen for myself, but yes, people do call me that. Anyway, enough chat. Let's get down to business. Yes, of course. Mr. Telly informs us that you've had a break-in. That's an understatement. 100 million quits. Hardly a break-in. Anyway, break-in, burglary, grand larceny, whatever you want to call it, it needs sorting and fast. So first things first, let's show our young detective here the fault where uh, the money was inspector. Yes, uh, right you are Mr. Sloans. I've already got the lads for yard investigating down there. It's in the basement, of course. I'll explain more uh, once we're down there. So, this is where the incident took place. <laughs> That's the master fault of Lehman's Reserve Bank. 100 million quid in cash went missing from inside there. I see, it's enormous. Mm, that's not a fault, that's a room. It was discovered missing early this morning. Looks like a classic case of grand larceny. So, uh, we've got to catch the crook who did it and get uh, the dough back as quickly as possible. You say people from Scotland Yard are already investigating the fault inspector? Have you found any evidence uh, that might suggest who did this? 
not a flaming sausage. It would have taken a pro to crack this safe, that's for sure, but even pros leave a trail usually, well, not this time. Hmm, that's strange, I'll need to ask some questions. Just before you do, love. Yes, Mr. Sloans. I think uh, I'd like to see this great minds of yours in action first. Let me see if you can solve this brain teaser. It's not that I doubt your abilities, don't worry. I heard, I've heard nothing but good things about you. But I never deal with uh, anyone until I've seen them roll up their sleeves and get their hands dirty with my own eyes. Password ABCs. Now what was the password to the safe? It's letters long and it uses the letters A, B and C. Okay. Six letters long. Okay. Use the pointers um, on the memo to figure out the correct password and open the safe. The same letter is repeated twice in a row in two different places. Okay. The same letter has never appeared three times or more in a row. Okay. Uh, the letters A and C appear with the same frequency, which is less than the frequency of, frequency of B. And after a uh, C, there is always an A. Okay, the same letter is repeated twice in a row in two different places. That moet de B zijn, want er zitten dan vier B's in en twee A's en twee C's. Dan, oh nee, nee, dat is niet waar wat ik nou zeg. Ja, uh, nee, uh, uh, er zijn vier B's als het goed is. Dus als het goed is, is het B, B, C, A, B, B. Denk ik. I've seen how to solve this now. And that's how it's done. Easy winning. You did it! Yes, we did it. It looked good. Well, Mr. Sloans, I hope that's uh, instilled some confidence in you about my abilities. Oh golly, what's wrong? He's just glaring at us. Miss Layton. I don't understand. She solved the puzzle. Why is he looking so fierce? Crackling stuff, love. That's just what I was expecting. Even better. Oh, I think he was pleased. <laughs> Thank you. So will uh, you tell us the details of the case now? Of course, gladly. Oh, of course, gladly. <laughs> the mystery of the missing hundred million is up to you to solve now. I'll do my very best to confine this mystery to history. Een monietje, we houden ervan. Nog een monietje. Hallo, hallo, hallo. Wat hebben we hier? Miss Layton en haar trusty assistant, Ronus Greaves, I see. Hallo, PC Beat. Um, this is an amazing fold, isn't it? Although I imagine opening and closing it must be hard work. Aha! I had the self same thought when I saw how thick the door was, it mu uh, but it turns out it's motorized. All you have to do is enter the code and press the button and ayo presto! Um, it opens automatically. So you don't need to uh, be big and burly to open the vault then, I see. Not at all, Miss Layton. Uh, even you'd be able to open it if you knew the code. I understand you were the first person on the scene, is that right? You are a security guard here, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. I still can't believe it. How could this have happened? Uh, that's what we are all trying to find out. Could you tell us what you saw this morning, please? Well, it's my job to keep watch in the foyer uh, area overnight, see? From uh, where the bank closes one day to the next morning. I was keeping a lookout all night, but I swear I never spotted something strange and nothing strange. Uh, then early this morning, Mr. Uh, Shinplasters showed up as usual. He's the boss, see? 
Uh, and does Mr. Shin Plasters always come in early to work? Yeah, he's always very busy, so he, busy. So he uh, usually tries to get in before anyone else. He must have had something to do in the vault because he went straight through the foyer and headed downstairs. Not long after that, I heard him cry out. Uh, so I ran down here as quick as I could. And when I got here, the vault uh, door was wide open. Uh, did you look inside the vault at that time? Well, I was worried. See, I thought there might be a robber in there or something. But I thought I should be brave and just peeped in quickly. And uh, that's when I saw the body flat out on the floor. Floor, 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 floor. But that was actually Mr. Shinplasters, wasn't it? It was, yeah, and there's no one else about at all. Not in the vault uh, or out of it. What did you next? Uh, I dialed 999 straight away, of course, and then I called Mr. Teller, uh, she's the general manager. You're supposed to call the general manager if there's anything not, to, not right, see? Uh, when she showed up and saw the fault, she nearly had a heart attack, 100 million quid gone. So it was Mrs. Uh, Teller who first realized how much she was missing? Yeah, it's not my business knowing how much is stashed in the vault, see? Uh, then the boys in blue showed up, the ambulances and the carnival... Mm -hmm. It was like carnival around here. And that's all I can tell you. And this is right... Uh, and is it right that uh, Mr. Shimplaster still hasn't regained consciousness? Mm, that's uh, what I was told, yeah. He broke both his legs as well, but they said it wasn't life-threatening. There's a good chance he saw the culprit, though. Uh, what a dreadful shame uh, we can't get a statement from him. Yes, that's frustrating. Still, we must push on with the investigation as best as we can. En dat gaan we de volgende aflevering doen. Bedankt voor het kijken van deze aflevering. Vond je het een leuke aflevering? Doe een duimpje omhoog. Zie je graag de volgende keer weer. Adios, amigos.